Hey there, geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. As always, today we're going to talk about what the Microsoft.NET Framework or runtimes are. Try to simplify it. See what version you have. See what you need. Let's break it down simple. What is it? It is a library of shared code. That means a developer who's writing a program, if he wants to insert something in there without writing the code, for example, let's say his program needs to send out a ping, you could actually find that code, grab it, and insert it without having to write the code to do what you want it to do. So it simplifies software development for developers and for you. But by the time it gets to you, all you care about is, does it work? So let's talk about that. Windows should have it, it should keep you up to date. And what you really need to know, and this is the breakdown right here, this is the simplest thing you need to know right there. Starting with .NET 3.5, now .NET goes back to version 1.0, I think in 2000, to 4.8 with the time of this video, and there's actually a 5 release. Yeah, it gets more confusing. Basically, all you need to know, if you need .NET below 3.5, you don't really need to download, you shouldn't need to download any older versions anymore. If you have .NET 3.5, it should be backwards compatible to version 1. Now, if you need a different version above 3.5, you need whatever the latest version is. For example, 4.8 is the latest runtime, and we'll show you a little bit more on that. So you can always check and see what version of .NET you have installed by following that link you just saw there. And there's actually a video tutorial for that as well. It's really easy. There's two codes here. You can use either one. Once again, check the video description or right about now there should be an eye up here you click on that you can follow through windows key plus x i run it as powershell as admin always and just control v that code and as you can see i have four eight and four so if i tried to run something and it was let's say it needed net 3.0 as i mentioned i would just have to download net 3.5 now what we've done is we provided links for you in this article as well. There's the 5.0, which you don't need yet. Technically, you need 4.8, but if you click on that link, it's available. Once again, a little confusing, and I'll show you why. So if you click download, and you're at the Microsoft site, you're like, I just need .NET, and you click on the download button, work with me, you will see .NET, .NET Core, and .NET Framework. Note that they're pretty well explained. So this is a developer platform, that's not for you. Developer platform, that's not for you. Windows only version for everybody. You always are looking for the .NET Framework. As you can see, it's currently 4.8. And all you'd have to do is click download the .NET Framework, and this is another important thing, runtime. So remember those three words, .NET, Framework, Runtime, End Users, that's what you need. And again, just keep in mind, as I mentioned, two, you can see here we have version 4.8 and 5.0, but that would be the version you'd need now. It's a little confusing. It's hard for us to list everything and have it make sense for you. Hopefully that helps. So again, if you need an older version, you can find it here. There's the article here, how to check which version here and here, and of course, troubleshooting Microsoft.NET Framework and installations if you're having trouble. We've got some great tools for that. If you're having trouble with .NET, this should help you out. Not too tough, a little more complicated than it kind of needs to be for the end user, but most developers are just like, yeah, we understand how it works and that's okay. So there you go. So if you're looking for it, 3.5 or 4.8 at the time of this video, whatever the newest is. At some point, I assume Microsoft will slow it down and roll back again so they only have to need one of two or three to download but that's guesswork there you have it bottom right hand corner major geeks logo appears as always you click on that little subscribe button appears cool and uh, click on like if we helped you get any comments i respond as often as i can i'd like to hear from you thanks for watching as always see you